Hello EmacsConf, this is John Wigley. I'm one of the co-maintainers of Emacs along with Ellie Zaretsky and Lars Ingebrigsten. And I wanted to give you a technical update on what has been happening uh, with the Emacs in the last year. So specifically, uh, we have a few notes that I've gotten from a call with Ellie. He's been in charge of directing most of the technical contributions on the mailing list and monitoring all of the patches. So I'm more here just as a messenger. Uh, he says that we have good progress in support for Cairo. This is going to be enabled by default in Emacs 28 and Cairo plus HarfBuzz is going to be the preferred rendering combination. So Cairo support is not new, but in the past there were a lot of bugs in the code. And so it was made experimental. So most of those bugs have been fixed recently and now it becomes the default in the next major version, which will enable several good features such as color emojis, if you're looking forward to those. XFT, as a result, is deprecated. There are bugs not getting fixed in that code. It doesn't appear to be very well maintained. It was the most advanced font backend in Emacs before Cairo became dependable. So now that we have a more, a better maintained and available solution in Cairo, we're gonna go from that, go from XFT to that. Uh, native compilation in Lisp will also be landing soon. It's currently on a branch, but there are several people using it. They say they're very impressed. <clears throat> it does require live GCC JIT to be installed for it to work. And this means you have to have GCC 10 installed. Um, execution of Emacs Lisp with native compilation on is about 2.5 times faster than the bytecode interpreter. We don't yet have any measurements on memory or how it affects resources besides CPU. So we do look forward to having more numbers and analysis to see what the real impact of that is going to be. Also, it may vary in compute advantage based on the type of workload that you're performing. Um, a downside to the native compilation at the moment is that it takes a long time to compile. Even when you're doing a 16 core build of Emacs, it can still take 15 minutes to compile Emacs and all of its, all of its Lisp code with this enabled. Also, this is going to have to happen on every user's machine because we cannot distribute the native compilation products. They are specific to the, to the processor that you might be running on. So the Emacs distribution will remain much as it is now, but if you want to have the benefits of natively compiled core Lisp files, you're gonna to have to spend that time and have GCC 10 available to get that compilation support. Um, the GTK only build is being prepared for merging. So what this does is it throws away most of the other toolkits that Emacs was using and relies only on GTK, making Emacs much more of a GTK application than it has been. Um, the main issue here is that we were abusing GTK in some ways that weren't really meant and now we're gonna be more of a first, GTK will be more of a first class citizen in the approach and the ways that we use it um, and, and be using it in the ways that the GTK developers intended. There is going to be much more support for XT mouse. So XT mouse allows you to use your mouse inside of a terminal window, uh, which you could do before, but there were certain aspects such as menus that weren't supported. Uh, so instead of having kind of partial support for mouse inside of an X term with XT mouse, you get full support. Uh, this is going to allow uh, changes in the way that things can be bound, the ways that uh, key bindings can, the mouse events can be mapped to key bindings while in X terms. And um, yeah, little by little, this support is being extended even further. So we look forward to seeing that develop in the near term. Uh, once this is merged, by the way, also then Emacs will have mouse support in every one of its available configurations, which has not been true until now. Emacs 27 will be soon releasing 27.2, and the pretest for that should begin sometime soon after Emacs Comp is done. And finally, Emacs 28 is going to get better emoji support. Right now, emojis are registered internally within Emacs as symbols, which works in some ways, but does not support some of the special features of, uh, of emojis, such as different skin tones for the hand emoji or face emojis. In Emacs 28, emojis are going to have their own support within the C, C code, and then this is going to allow those types of variations and other emoji-specific font setups. So that is everything for Emacs in the future. I don't have a timeline for you on when 28 will be available, 
but 27 is going to keep improving until we're ready to get there. So have fun with the rest of the Max Conf and hope to see you there. Bye-bye.